Well, hello. Welcome back to Lonnie's Garage. I'm Lonnie. Now let's get to what we're doing today. Uh, what I've done is now the diagram on the page, some of the colors may be uh, a different color. I chose to reuse wires because uh, you'll see some of them you'll pull out and you won't use them. So I chose to use some of the wires because it already had the pin on there. So I just moved it to the spots down here where I needed them. My high beam is still the light green. My ground's black. Oil pressure is tan. 12 volt keyed power is pink with the black stripe. Uh, your alternator wire is a dark green wire, which that's one wire that I did move. I got it low voltage. That's my alternator wire. Uh, number six, you will not be in there. Number seven will not be in there. Number eight is going to be your water coolant temp. That's dark blue wire. Uh, nine is your dash lights. That's a gray wire. Ten is a left turn signal. That's a uh, turquoise color. Uh, right turn signal, dark blue, that's number 11 spot. Number 12 will get removed, there'll be nothing in it. Number 13 is your seat belt warning, that's yellow. 14 is your fuel gauge, that's pink. 15 is your brake light warning, you know, it comes on, that's tan with a white stripe. Uh, number 16, I, I put my check engine light there, and I used a black wire. Um, as you can see right here, I just, it's, like I said, uh, it's just one of the wires whenever I removed it, I, instead of throwing them away, I reused it over here. Um, number 17 is my keyed power, black or pink with a black stripe. And number 18 is my speed. Again, I just used a black and I have these all labeled, so I will not get confused of what are they, what they are. Um, also, in order to use this method, I'm going to show you a few things you'll also need. And I will give you some part numbers also. The first thing that you're going to need is, where'd it go? Right here. This is a new water temperature sensor. It's a three-wire sensor. Two wires will wire back up into the, the uh, LS wiring harness, and the third wire will be going to your gauge cluster. You'll wire it to your bulkhead for the same wire that is for your stock wire, water uh, reading, or water gauge, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused, your temperature gauge. Um, there is your part number on that. Uh, you can screenshot that or whatever. Also, to go with this, you need this pigtail. This is the three-wire pigtail that you're going to need to plug into that thermostat. Or, I'm sorry, uh, temperature sensor. The part number is HP4440. Again, it's the three-wire. All right. The next part you're going to need is a new oil sending unit. You will need to get you an adapter. Um, I'll try to put a part number to the adapter in the uh, description, but this is what your oil sending unit will look like. It's a one wire oil sending unit. The part number is right here. And it's made by AC Delco. Uh, you'll just make you a wire and run that to your bulkhead uh, in your truck. I have a, a video covering how to wire the LS harness to the bulkhead. Uh, you'll run this one wire to the bulkhead for your oil sending unit. It'll be a tan wire. Um, these are some of the fittings that I have. Um, I've already got one fitting inside of my oil sending unit. I used a fitting like this it's a quarter inch uh, 
I can't can't remember what the what they call it, MPT or something like that. But uh, I will put a part number to uh, the one for the oil sitting unit in the description of this video. But they do look something like this. But um, what you'll do is you'll you need to get a 90 because when you put this oil sending unit in the stock location of your old oil sending unit, um, it will try to bottom out and hit. On my case, it's trying to hit the valley cover pan, the bolt that holds that on. So what I done was I got the adapter for it. I screwed my 90, or I'm sorry, my 45 degree uh, adapter into it. And then I'm going to screw this into that. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire up my plug to my dash wires and then I'm going to plug it all up and we will come right back. All right, folks, we're going to take you inside of the motor department uh, under the hood, basically. As you can see, I've changed out the stock uh, temperature sensor. Uh, you have three wires, a black wire, a gray wire, and that blue wire. Uh, the black and gray gets wired back to the stock um, harness, your LS harness. You just cut your plug out um, and wire those in. The blue wire is wired to the gauge to your uh, Right here, it's the dark green wire. It's your water temperature inside of your bulkhead. Uh, your oil sending unit, the oil pressure switch, uh, gets wired to the bulkhead. It's the tan wire. You can see how I've made the oil sending unit right there. It's got a 90 degree on it. It's a one wire. It's all working correctly. There is the old plug got two wires and there's the old temperature sensor uh, we'll take you inside of the truck as you can see I've still got my dash sitting right over there the I'm sorry the cluster is sitting right there and what we've done here is you'll never mind this plug here I use this quick connect plug on the uh, Intellitronics uh, gauge that way I could unplug it if I ever needed to which I ended up needing to uh, Everything from here Where my hand is all of this stuff right here is uh, stock wires for the um, the wiring harness uh, minus uh, we have the speed wire uh, uh, Let's see there's something else uh, uh, tack wire um, I ran that and hooked that up what you're gonna do is just like I said never mind this plug because you won't be wiring that um, this is the plug that you'll be messing with and as you can see I've got it all wired back up into here uh, I wired it just like I did uh, I showed you on the, the diagram on the tablet of paper um, what we're going to do now is I'll set you down for a second and when we come back I'll, I'm just going to plug this up and I'll set this up inside of here and we will start it and I'll show you. Alright guys, we're going to try this with no light on the phone or the camera. I use my phone. Uh, anyhow, I've got it sitting in there and now we're going to turn the key forward. You'll see that it's showing service engine soon light. As you go to start it, you'll see your brake light. And there you go. Oil pressure's working, battery's working, thermostat's working, gas gauge is working. Uh, let's try the lights. I've still got a blown or a bad ground for my uh, right park light so that's going to stay on but let's try your right turn signal that one's working left that one's working now we're going to try as you can 
see all the lights are lighting up you can turn them down and they go out turn them back up they brighten back up everything's working now what we'll do is turn your bright lights on see if we get the bright light indicator should be right here and there you go and I'm, I'm gonna put it in part or uh, uh, drive I'm gonna spin tires just a little bit and you'll see the speedometer move I'm inside my shop so there you go so everything's working great all right guys there you have it uh, I hope this video has helped at least one person uh, like I said I do not take credit for uh, any of this kind of information is claiming it to be my information as far as me figuring it out because uh, I didn't. I found it on the Facebook page. Uh, just to make sure I get the name right, I wrote it down. Uh, it is called LS Swap Square Body GM Trucks. Uh, if you'll go on there, you'll find, you'll, you just do a search on Facebook, you'll find the group. Uh, if you're into doing this kind of stuff, um, or just you know checking out people that's doing this very very great group to learn a lot of information um, I try to pass on whatever I do learn to others um, I'm not real good at uh, at reading diagrams or figuring out how to do something that somebody's uh, typed out to me or wrote out so that's the reason why I try to make my videos to put a little a view as as to uh, the paper you know uh, like I said if this video or any of my other videos have helped you all uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, hit that like button you know give it a thumbs up share it um, yeah and if it hasn't helped you you know I'm sorry I'm, I'm doing my best I'm no professional at this video making stuff uh, I just do it for the fun so until next time, God bless each and every one of you. I hope he tugs at your heart, gets your attention. Uh, he does love you. Even if you don't believe in God, he still loves you. But uh, for me, I'm out of here for this, uh, for this week. Hopefully until next time, keep building.